Well, it's uh, just uh, just over a week in Gaza, and um, I can only repeat what I've said previously. It's uh, such a beautiful thing to be here. People just never cease to amaze me. The generosity, the hospitality, despite the horrendous conditions for so many, you just could not find a, a more beautiful people to host you. It's such a blessing to be here. Of course, having been here for just over a week, uh, We've, uh, myself and a few others, uh, were shot at uh, a few days ago at the uh, Beit Hanun in the so-called buffer zone, which is the prime agricultural land, uh, which isn't usable because uh, the Israelis take pot shots. They just, uh, almost for fun, take shots at people on a regular basis. Since March, 91 people in the same buffer zone, either trying to tend to uh, their land to uh, grow crops or uh, those picking up rocks rocks that they smash into dust to make cement because they can't get cement here. Um, 91 people have been shot yeah, since March. In the last week, about 15 have been shot, um, including a 12-year-old and a 15-year-old. Um, we ourselves were shot at, and in the video uh, I will supply with this as well, you can hear the bullet fly by. How close it was, who knows. Whoa, that was a fucking bullet. Yeah, that, was a bullet. that was a bullet, and they're firing bullets now. It could have hit me, it could have hit uh, any of the others there. This is the reality of life, unreported in the West, largely. Only true journalists reporting this stuff, but totally ignored by the propaganda machine, the prostitutes of propaganda posing as journalists. And um, this is the reality. I long for the day where more of us come and see for ourselves what is happening here, because it is black and white, there is no gray area. Tremendous injustice, people not allowed to live their lives uh, in dignity, not even able to grow crops children anemic, malnourished, homeless, orphaned. This is the reality of life in Gaza and it must stop.